Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a song that I want to mix down to. And I'm going to hit mode, load, and I think it's, I think it's this one. Okay, yeah. All right, so since it's only four bars right now, I want it to be longer because um, I'm only just kind of starting it and working on it, and um, I don't know if I want to keep it. So what I usually do at this point is I usually mix everything down to a WAV file uh, and then into my iTunes and then MP3 it. Um, but as of right now, my next move is going to be I'm going to go to Mode, Song, Arrow Over, Scroll through my sequences here, and right here it gives you the option to repeat. I'm going to arrow over here and probably go up to about, let's see, 32. How long is that? If you, if you, if you hit down, it gives you the time. Let's see, that's not enough. So I kind of want uh, maybe a little bit longer than that. About three minutes? Yeah, about three minutes. All right, so three minutes, and it gives you your options here. And obviously, this is the one we're going to be working with. So I'll start with, uh, I'll go from the uh, right to left. Insert. Insert lets you insert another sequence, wherever. You can go below, above it, below it, but since it's the same one, it really doesn't matter. But you can see that it's inserting above it. Now, delete is going to delete what we just inserted. See? Go up to that one. Delete that one. Convert it. Convert it is going to convert this whole thing. Um, so that if I want to, it'll be a long extended track, uh, 64 bars long, three minutes, I guess, what was it, three minutes, a three minute long track. So I can go through and I can do my edits, I can drop beat, you know, kicks, snares, hi-hats, anything, and, or, or just add stuff and, you, you know, do whatever you want. Um, so, but once you mix down, you're not going to be able to do any, any of that stuff. So if this is going to be your final version of it, you kind of want to make sure you have every all that stuff done ahead of time, um, and uh, yeah, because I made the mistake of mixing down and and, and uh, later going, oh man, I should have went back and I should have like you know just dropped that snare right there. So you know I like to I like to roll with them for a while, um, and this is the reason why. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to mix this down, and it's going to ask you what is this called? Okay, so I call it, I think this was the MGM, and I think I just got it from an MGM label. Um, okay, I'll just label this MGM Listen. MGM1, we'll just call it MGM1. Enter it, and it's going to give you the song time and how much free memory time you have. Do it. Yeah. Now I'm going to turn that down. Um, while, that's, while that's going, I'm going to let that do its thing, and we're going to continue from there. Okay, so my song came to an end, and it ended at three minutes there. Now what I'm going to do next is check and see if I have the track. Now I hit mode, trim. You can scroll through all your sounds this way, and there it is. It's going to sound a little weird because I ha I'm playing it back through my compressor and EQ on. So if you want to hear it flat and how it sounds, how it's going to sound pretty much when it comes out of your speakers later. That's pretty good. The wave's a nice, a nice size there. Um, could be turned up probably later on, but that's what we're going to do uh, when I show you how to mix down these things individually. Um, Therefore, you can go ahead and upload them into your, uh, you know, your Pro Tools or whatever program you're working with, and, and work on the tracks individually, pretty much the same way. But I'm going to go through that, those steps in another in the other tutorial uh, regarding that. So anyway, here I'm going to go ahead. I like the way that is. It's all there. It's all good. I'm going to save this. Make sure you pick up these CDs too. By the way, I have too many of them. Um, I'm going to save this MGM. Uh, I'm probably going to save it to its own file, just so later I'll know. And I'm going to open that. Just save it, do it. There it is. Okay, so 
while this is saving, what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to show you how to uh, load all these into your uh, PC or uh, your Mac or whatever it is you're using so that uh, you can go ahead and play with these in your uh, in your computer. Okay, as you can see the track's in there now. Now, make sure it's actually in there. There it is. Okay, so next up I'm going to show you how to upload the track we just mixed down into iTunes now. Okay? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit USB. Okay, so once you hit your USB on your MPC, a window should pop up if your USB is cor uh, correctly connected. Um, and there it is. Okay, so I close this down, go to my libraries here, and there it is right there. And so you want to double click on this, open it up, there's the file. Now, when I hit this, uh, my, my default program for music is, uh, is iTunes, so it, it's going to go directly to there. And there it is. Okay, so since it's a WAV file, I'm going to go to File go down to convert, convert it to an mp3, let it do its thing. Okay, delete this one, because that's the WAV file. And now you have your, uh, your mp3. And that's how you upload, or at least how I upload, to iTunes and this way now I can just kind of walk around the house with it I can kind of play it back to back with other things and just see if like I said if I even want to keep it and keep working on it um, if you have any questions about this please leave a comment below and uh, I'll be happy to answer because I know I'm, I'm trying to do this as slow as I can which is why I might be talking a little bit weird um, because I think fast and I move quickly so I, I'm trying to just really talk really slow and, and try to be very uh, um, just as, as uh, clear as I can about this. So again, if you have any questions, please hit me up. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, uh, the next tutorial is going to be about how to do this, but individually uh, separating your tracks and uploading them, um, which I'll do in the next uh, tutorial. So make sure you check for that one. Thanks again for watching. All right, later.